Welcome to the Radio Vault Mystery Theater. I am the Keeper of the Vault. All of us have little insecurities, little fears, even some strange little phobias. That is all part of the quirks that make us individuals. They reveal parts of our nature, even our background. But how much of this reveals who we really are? Our story tonight is Knock Knock. Act 1 Jeff and Wanda Murphy had just eloped. They were in Las Vegas looking for a room to spend their wedding night. But most rooms seemed to be booked for the night. So they had to settle their impulsive behavior and find lodging at a circus-themed hotel. Uh, wow! Uh, what a quaint little room. Okay, okay, it's not what I wanted either, and maybe we can get another room in a couple days. We still have the rest of the week. I know. Just not the way that I thought we'd start our life together. That's the point. We have the rest of our lives to share together. Come on, let's get this honeymoon started, and we'll just laugh about this in the future. A toast to the new Mrs. Murphy. Ah, yes! To Mr. and Mrs. Murphy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this room. Oh my God, look, look at these prints, these walls of clowns. This is ridiculous. God, I hate clowns. What's that sound? Oh, it's one of those creepy little clown figurines, like a, like a music, like a music box. Ooh, ooh, that sounds eerie. Well, at least we can stop it. Thank you. You know, I don't even want to look at that thing. That's how badly it gives me the creeps. Let's cover it with a towel. There. That should take care of that scary little clown. You are silly. You know, it's still right there under the towel. I know, but it still makes me feel better. You know, the night is still young. You want to go and see what this place has to offer? I mean, we've never been here before. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Did you need maid service? No. Why did you think that? The door hanger says your room needs to be made up as soon as possible. Do you folks need anything? Should we get some more towels? Uh, no. I think we're good for now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we have everything we need. Thanks for checking, though. You're welcome. Let me just turn this around so we don't disturb you again. Thank you. Well, the room's not much, but it appears the service is good. Uh, let's make sure we leave her a good tip. Yeah, of course. All right, come on. Are you ready to look around this town, Mrs. Murphy? Shall we, Mr. Murphy? The newlyweds go out to explore what their destination has to offer. End of Act One. Now... Act two. As the couple meandered nonchalantly through the casino, they enjoyed the circus acts and all the lights and sounds that they passed. The circus had a funhouse mirror that Jeff stops to look at. To his horror, an evil distorted image of a clown stared back at him. <laughs> You do look pretty scary as a short, fat guy. Oh, I, I guess I do look like a, a short, fat guy. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, a second ago I thought I saw something else. Uh, 
<laughs> well, it couldn't be any scarier than what we are looking at right now. Well, I've seen enough for tonight. What do you say we go back to the room? Mmm, sounds good. Let me see if I can calm your fears, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> The newlyweds enjoyed each other's company, celebrating their nuptials before eventually falling into a deep slumber for the night. Then, suddenly Jeff is awakened by a sound of a clown laughing. The light in the bathroom was on, and he could hear soft sounds coming from it. He carefully crawls out of bed so not to disturb Wanda to investigate. Oh, what the? Oh, geez, there's towels all over the place. What the hell? What a mess. Come on, Jeff. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> no! Jeff? Are you okay? I think you were having a bad dream. Oh, God, what a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a nightmare. Oh, you poor thing. Let me hold you. It will be all right. Yeah, let me just let me just catch my breath. Oh god, there was this this hideous looking clown knocking at the, at the door and he was he was calling to me to come and play with him and and oh jeez. Shh, honey. It's okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that stupid clowns can still freak me out like that. Just forget about it for now. You can play with me. <laughs> yes, I can. And I'd rather play with you than some creepy ass clown anyway. Clowns are silly. You shouldn't be afraid of them. They are just here to make you laugh. They are playful. Let's play, Jeff. No! No! <laughs> Jeff looked over at his bride and saw her pointed, rotting teeth dripping with drool. She leaned over to kiss him her smile smeared with clown makeup. End of Act Two. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hey there, my name's Guido. Do you have a problem with body odor? No, not your own. I mean those ones stacked up in the cellar like cordwood. Well, that's why I'm here. I run Jiffy Stiff, the 10 minute embalming service. If your loved one's not in and out in 10 minutes or less, the next one's free. Be sure to try our drive through window and after hours drop-off box. Remember our name, Jiffy Stiff. Look for us under the big neon casket. And now, Act 3. Jeff woke up in the morning and looked around, noticing Wanda wasn't there. It was all nightmares. I just couldn't stop having these clown dreams. <coughs> oh. Wanda, are you, uh, are you here, honey? God, you stupid little music box. I thought I shut you off. I, I thought I covered you. Come in, hold on. Oh. There you are. I was wondering where you went. Uh, yeah. I had to go to the front desk uh, to get more towels. <sighs> and I forgot my room key. Give me those. I gotta cover up Mr. Creepy over here. He's trying to sing at me again. <laughs> uh, 
You are so silly about that. You have no idea. I had dreams all night about clowns trying to get me. Wait, why did we need more towels? Well, somebody threw all of the towels all over the floor last night, and I wanted to get a shower this morning. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. In one of my nightmares, I had there were towels all over the floor. It's just your subconscious playing tricks on you. Well, I've had enough of this place. It's just it's just creeped me out too much. I'm gonna see if I can find another place for the rest of the honeymoon. Oh, that sounds good. You know, you can't be having nightmares for our entire honeymoon. Why don't you call around while I take a shower? Sounds like a plan. While Wanda showered, Jeff carried out their plan to find new lodging for the rest of the honeymoon. Oh, hey, babe. So refreshing. Did you find another place to stay? Yes. And we should toast to our success that we are getting the hell out of here. What what did I do with that bottle of champagne? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's warm, though. No, no, it, it's fine. It's fine. I'll go get some ice. You're still in your pajamas, silly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll be right back. Oh, goodness. He left his room key. Oh. Jeff! Uh, oh, is that you? Oh, I, I thought you hated clowns. Uh, honey, wh- wh- why the clown makeup? Oh, oh, Jeff, your, your teeth! <laughs> Time to play! Yeah. Jeff! No, 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 no! Sometimes the things we fear most are the evil things. We are. Knock Knock is a production by Troop of Lost Souls Entertainment and Film Syndicate. Written by Charlie Mitchell. Produced by Anthony Stapiello. And directed by Rick L. Baker. Post-production and sound effects by Brian Collins. Commercials by Joe J. Thomas. Video post by Stephen Shin. The cast was played by T.C. DeWitt as Jeff Murphy. Ricky Yvette Westmoreland as Wanda Murphy, Joyce Lynn Liu as the maid, J. Anthony McCarthy as the dream clown, and I am Trevor Bates, your psychotic storyteller and keeper of the vault. Like, follow, and subscribe to see you next week, if you dare. (laughs) 